Hey, not long ago I got the 74 Bronco running. There's a few more things that I need to do before I can get it out on the road. Uh, I would say about 95% complete. But I went ahead and bought another project uh, with a purpose. This time is a 1962 Scout, International Scout. Let me talk a little bit about that today. I get another project car and what is the purpose of it um, since I already have a lot of cars back there like I said the Bronco just started to run but I still got a lot of work to do um, but my daughter is here back here from college and she's an old soul she loves old things classic things and she mentioned that she wanted an old car <laughs> or SUV or truck type so this opportunity came, uh, someone had uh, given up on the project or left, moved away. And besides, there's not a lot of scouts showing up here where I am in Hawaii. And uh, this one was, in a, I'd say, a uh, fair deal. For a 1962 with the original body, it's actually not that bad. I mean, for me, somebody like me that works on cars, I can look beyond the rust holes. I can look beyond the rust on the body so long as the main foundation, which is the frame, is pretty solid. You know what I mean? Because uh, once you get the frame rusty, it's, uh, it's not impossible to redo, but it creates a lot of work. Uh, so this particular Scout is has an original body. Uh, it's quite rusty everywhere. It's got a big rust hole on the uh, left front quarter panel. Uh, all kinds of rust holes everywhere. Like the back of the bed is rusty. Um, the hood is dented. So there's a lot of work. But first of all, my purpose and my goal is to rewire it because it still has the 6 volt system and the previous owner had started to convert it to a 12 volt system but I'm the one I don't like that kind of work where uh, you use the same original wiring you know nothing wrong with that the scouts original wiring is it, it's already caught up so I'm just going to go ahead and rewire it to like a 21 circuit or something like that so that if I upgrade the the electrical system down the road then I already have the wiring for it um, besides, the charging system needs to be uh, optimal uh, and then I want to be able to monitor the engine um, systems by having aftermarket gauges and things like that. I will use the original gauges that's in the car already, make that work by converting 12 volts and stepping it down to 6 volts so they don't fry up and things like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rewire it, like I said, front and back. All the lights will be changed to 12 volts, um, the grounding, all of that stuff. So all you have to do is start it. Uh, it has the original 152 uh, engine on a three-speed tranny. Uh, it has a control for the um, front axle and rear axle for some reason here, and a transfer case control as well. So I've yet to learn what's going on with all of those. All I know is that it has a three-speed transmission, uh, and it, which is actually pretty unique. So the drive train, drive train itself, I am going to keep the transmission, the transfer case, the axles, all that stuff. I'm going to keep, keep original. I'm going to try to stick to the original as much as possible. Uh, but all throughout the years, kind of work on um, getting it back to its glory. You know what I mean? Um, but for now, she will run. It's going to be rusty, but she will be running and legal on the road. Um, 
it'll just be around town anyways. It won't be on the freeway or going far or anything like that. So it'll be okay to drive it around like that. Um, it comes with an aftermarket roll cage, which has a little bit of a rust spot here and there, but I will leave that alone, put a soft top on it, uh, and then just no doors because when the previous owner had taken off the doors, he had a hard time taking off the bolts, which is normal for 1962. So it cut out the bolts, and I don't even know where the backing plates were or are at this point. So I will leave the doors off until I can work on it and then we'll put the doors but uh, the other thing I'm gonna leave off as well is the heater system or the air system the reason being is that if you live in Hawaii there's no need for any of that stuff there's actually no need for a door if you live in Hawaii and you live here in Haleiwa town or the North Shore because you go about what 35 miles per hour down the road uh, going to the beach and you wanna feel the wind in your hair anyways uh, to make sure I mean that's just just the way it rolls here that's why I love my Jeeps that are don't have the tops the Bronco doesn't have a top but it's uh, it's gonna have a soft top and a roll cage so riding free riding in the open is what the goal and main purpose of this it has aftermarket rims and tires I'll leave that the way it is until maybe I can find down the road the original Steelys that comes with this uh, and then Moon Eyes and then bring it back to its glory it has a spacer in there so it looks wide and fat but I think if you if you bring it in back to original this is an original lift maybe a little bit of a shackle lift but not much it will not see off-roading probably may have very minor when I go fishing nothing like the Bronco seas and things like that so that is the purpose of this build and of course before I forget mainly for my daughter to be able to drive it around once she's back here from college and she'll be home next year and I think this type of vehicle is very artful uh, it's very full of history um, and it's something that we can keep uh, it is I know the value of these things are going up and I didn't mind paying the amount of money I paid for it for the condition that it's in because I know that if you keep this for a long time we keep it forever we're keeping a part of the history especially here in Hawaii where you don't see a lot of um, cars like this right so that's enough for the introduction of the 1962 international scout i will make more videos as i go and fix it as i go and do things to it i will try and keep you updated to keep it interesting and of course make vlogs and videos on where this car is going uh going with the channel that i'm my channel of stylish grease monkey going along with the channel stylish grease monkey I think this will be a perfect platform for the heritage clothing heritage shoes and things that you that I wear and use it you know for a vlog and going to the beach and going to town here in Haleiwa town and things like that so that's all I have for you this week I hope you enjoy videos like this if you're new to my channel again subscribe hit the notification bell also leave me a like right watch my videos so make a little bit of money making these uh, you know I have to make a little bit of money to support my habit anyway that's it aloha